Do you know what angina is and how to recognize its signs and symptoms? Angina is a type of chest discomfort caused by reduced blood flow to the heart muscles. It's often a sign of an underlying heart issue, such as coronary artery disease. Understanding and promptly recognizing angina's symptoms is vital as it can be a life-saving skill. With this knowledge you can take swift action, potentially preventing a severe cardiac event. So, let's dive into the typical signs and symptoms of angina. There are several signs and symptoms of angina that you should be aware of. Angina often presents as a retrosternal chest pain, a discomfort or tightness that may radiate to the left or right shoulder, arm, neck or jaw. This pain is typically associated with sweating, nausea and anxiety. It can be precipitated by what we call the three E's, exertion, emotion and eating. The pain typically lasts less than 10 to 15 minutes and is often relieved by rest and nitrates. You might have heard of Levine's sign. This is when a person clutches their fist over their sternum when describing their chest pain. There are also what we call anginal equivalents, which include symptoms like shortness of breath, acute left ventricular failure, and flash pulmonary edema. Now let's talk about the functional classification of angina. Class 1 is when ordinary physical activity does not cause angina. Class 2 involves slight limitation of ordinary activity, with angina brought on by walking more than two blocks or climbing more than one flight of stairs. Class 3 is marked limitation of ordinary activity, with angina brought on at less than two blocks or climbing less than one flight of stairs. Class 4 is inability to carry out any physical activity without discomfort, with angina possibly present at rest. Now that we know what to look for, let's discuss the steps to catch angina early and potentially save a life. Angina is classified into four classes based on its severity and impact on daily activities. Class 1 represents angina that doesn't interfere with ordinary activities like walking or climbing stairs. It's typically triggered by strenuous, rapid, or prolonged activities. Class 2 is characterized by a slight limitation of ordinary activities. Here, angina might be brought on by walking more than two blocks on level ground, or climbing more than one flight of stairs, or even emotional stress. Class 3 on the other hand brings on a marked limitation of ordinary activities. Angina might occur even at less than two blocks on level ground or climbing less than one flight of stairs. Lastly, class 4 is the most severe, where any physical activity can bring discomfort, and angina may even be present at rest. Understanding these classes can help us take appropriate action. Let's discuss the steps we can take to catch angina early. Catching angina early could potentially save a life. Here are some steps you can take. First, know the risk factors high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, smoking, obesity, and a sedentary lifestyle are all risk factors for heart disease and angina. Being aware of these helps you understand your risk and take necessary precautions. Second, schedule regular checkups with a healthcare provider. This allows for monitoring of your heart health and provides an opportunity to discuss any symptoms or concerns you may have. Third, if you or someone else experiences chest pain or discomfort, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms like shortness of breath, nausea, or sweating, seek emergency medical help immediately. Don't wait to see if the symptoms go away on their own. This could be the difference between life and death. Fourth, if you've been diagnosed with angina or heart disease, follow your healthcare provider's treatment plan diligently. This may include medications, lifestyle changes such as diet and exercise, and regular monitoring. Lastly, consider learning CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation and basic first aid techniques. Knowing how to respond in an emergency can make a significant difference in saving lives. Remember, your knowledge can make a significant difference. Stay alert, stay safe. That's a wrap on our discussion about angina. We've explored its signs and symptoms, functional classifications, and tips on how to catch it early. Remember, knowledge and prompt action can make a significant difference. Subscribe now to join our community and don't forget to like and share this video to spread awareness. We have many more videos to bring you crucial and latest medical knowledge. Your feedback is important to us, so let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Stay healthy, stay informed.